Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Hey there, artichokes. Today we're gonna show you how to do a new brew method, the Clever Dripper, um, and just kind of walk through the steps and the tools that we're gonna we're gonna use to make that happen. So we have a variable temp uh, kettle here. We're setting the temperature for 202. Gonna have our mug ready. We'll use it to put preheated water through it. You got the Clever Dripper itself. This holds water like an immersion brewer, and then once you set it on a cup, it starts to drain. So we're gonna just leave it flat on the scale and not on the cup, because it'll just make water go right through. And it has a special filter here with more of a flat bottom. So I'll leave that in there. I went ahead and ground up uh, 20 grams of coffee for this. So we're, the recipe is gonna be 20 to 320, just a classic one to 16 brew ratio. Um, I have a spoon, just a little, little cup there, and this is just for hydration, so. Oh yeah. Okay, well to get started, I have this set at 202, so it's already ready to rock. What we want to do is just pre-wet the filter. Um, so I'm just kind of going along the edges and getting water to pass through. Um, that gets everything preheated as well as getting like some of those papery tastes off of the, uh, out of the coffee. And we can go ahead and use that and set it on the mug we're gonna use. And this will also preheat the mug while we're making the coffee. So once that's drained all the way, I'll open it back up. Put it over here, tear out my scale, and we're gonna go, it's a little weird, we're gonna go water first. So I'm gonna put 320 grams of water in the clever. Scooby dooby doo, I see you. 320 grams of water. Okay, set that down. Start the timer and add the coffee at the same time. Once that's in, just take your spoon and make sure that everything is immersed. Um, so we cl we chose to brew our first like pour over option with the Clever because we really like, it's kind of like duality of the fact that it gets a lot of contact time being like an immersion brew method, but then it gets a really clean uh, pour over-esque finish because it's getting drained through that paper filter. So um, that's just what we found to be awesome. So we're already at like one minute, so we just have a minute left to hang out. Uh, in the meantime, maybe I'll just go ahead, dump out my water. Cup's nice and warm. Um, at the two minute mark, I'm gonna take this spoon and break the crust, kind of like a cupping situation there to release the gas. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it back on this mug to drain. Okay, two minutes is up. I'm gonna take this, break that crust, set my spoon back down, and let it rock. Um, I'm gonna see how long it takes to drain. I've never really timed it before. My guess is probably like 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds max. Um, and then it'd probably be just a good idea to grab it and toss it right in the compost when you're done. And then give this thing a nice little rinse out. Little lesson for you. So we dosed out 320 grams of water. There's something called the liquid retention ratio. That means that our total yield is not going to be 320 grams. It's actually going to be uh, 280 grams because water is gonna be uh, staying with the coffee grounds in that filter. So yeah, it looks like about 30 seconds later, just got like a little, a little puddle of stuff, but you can go ahead and just dump that. Enjoy. Valor coffee. Enjoy. Wait, can, can I come and taste it? Absolutely. Okay. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. Another satisfied customer. Too hot. Another satisfied customer. Oh! <laughs> Another satisfied customer. Oh, wow. Okay.